Hey everyone, Evgeny is back with you today, and in this video we are taking a look at what uh, structured outputs are, why do we need them, and how to use them in Spring AI framework. So why you should care about structured output? The problem here is because LLMs work the way that they just auto-completing the stuff you send to them. And in a normal way, when your application is just a chatty bot, for example, that's not a problem, right? Because whatever we get back from LLM, you can just send it to the user. But that's not the case if your application is a bit more complex. Let's, let's take this as an example, right? Uh, we are trying to summarize the article and create a post with summarization. We want to have a title and possible tags. And just imagine that we are not only going to show this back directly to user, but you do have some processing in place. And then it becomes a real problem for you because you have to uh, kind of separate from all this information, which practically is a raw text. You need to separate it into different pieces, like your article body should go in one place, your title should be stored in the title and the tags. Well, probably would like to save them as a list of different values, right? And instead, we can try and go from the different uh, side from the request itself. And, well, we know the problem that LLMs are processing requests and they don't know how to do the formatting special way, how to provide a specific information, but they can process requests. And this is the way how we can uh, create structured outputs. Like, the idea is pretty simple. When having this initial uh, request, we can add some instructions to properly format it. Like here, what I'm doing, I'm adding to the request my additional request. So I'm asking, please format output as a JSON object, and I would like to see some properties there, and there are some special requirements how to define tags, and so on, and so on. And this gives LLM hints how to do the proper formatting. So we have the output from LLM not in a raw text, but as a structured output. So having this kind of request, we are getting structured output instead of just raw text. And this structured output can look something like that. And this is the basic idea how you can generate something structured from LLM. And having these ideas, we can give it a try and see how it behaves on the real world. So let's try. I'm just going to copy-paste the first part without any formatting instructions, and we will see what we get back from the LLM. And uh, take a look, the result is a bit different. The, well, the structure is like the order of information is different, the text formatting is different. Uh, it's still recognizable by, but by, by human being, but maybe for machine it's not so easy. And let's repeat the same, but providing additional formatting request. So I'm running it, and immediately we have a JSON back. And this one we can take and work and do something really useful with it. And again, this is the basic idea how structured output works. We adding, we're just adding format instructions on the bottom, and we have the proper format. So now let's switch to how this is implemented in Spring AI, because this is the goal of our today's video. And without any structuring, the way how it worked in our previous sessions, where we were generating posts already, it was like uh, we created a raw input, we send it to the machine and create a prompt template, and this one we sent directly to chat model, and we had raw output as a text from this chat model, and that one we just sent back to user. But now we are trying to complicate a bit the structure. Spring provides us, uh, it's called Structured Output Converter. And in general, it consists of two parts. We do have a format provider and we have converter. So the way it works, we take the raw input, we take some format instructions and we generate the prompt template combining these two. So it's here. And then we send this combination to chat model and then we have back row output as a text. It's still row output. Okay, it looks like a JSON, for example, but it's a row text. 
And then we have the last part, converter, which knows how to generate the proper structured output, like here we have a record. So this is the basic idea, uh, the architecture of Spring AI and how it works with structured data. All right, now it's time for coding session. And in general, we're going to take a look at the high level chat client APIs, how they are working with structured outputs. And also uh, we will see how do the same thing on a low level chat model. And we also maybe take a look at some insights of the prompts. Okay, I already created a template, pretty simple one, that asks for article summarization. It asks for title and tags for the post. And let's see how we can utilize that and get back the structured output as intended. So we are going to AI controller first. And as a first step, we have to load the prompt as a resource. So I'm just going to copy paste this one and modify it. Okay, next we need to create an article and we can make it a record. And our article would contain title, content, and then set of tags. All right, now let's create an endpoint. And again, I'm going to copy paste it from this one. This endpoint would return us an article. And this will be already structured output, the one we were talking about. And we do need here as well a new path. And here goes our implementation. So what we are doing here? We are triggering chat client because this is the first example where we are using high level uh, API. And then we are creating a prompt And in this prompt, we define a user message. And as a message, we are providing article summarization, the one, the, the prompt that we loaded as a resource. Then pretty logical, we're making a call to LLM, but then we are not interested in content. Oh, maybe we can go this way, that the one that suggested, but there is an easy way. We can just ask for entity directly. And that's it. So let's give it a try. But before running the application, we need to update our examples HTTP. Otherwise, how would we give it a try, right? So let me ask uh, AI agent this time. Okay, it looks good. So let's run the app and see if we get the proper structured output from the endpoint. And let me trigger the endpoint. Okay, here we can see it. Uh, we do have a properly formatted JSON object, but this one was generated from our record, which is a Java class. So it was properly converted to the Java class or record, I should say. And next example, let's see how it works with lower level API, which is chat model. And working with chat model, we can also check some insights. So what's the real prompt, for example, that's been sent to LLM. So for doing that, let me just uh, copy paste again the endpoint method. And what we are doing here? 
Well, first we have to define our converter. And here's the same thing like auto suggested. We can try to create a prompt and user message and then when we generate an entity, we are providing the converter we just created. But in that case, we don't see the inner side of what's happening under the hood. So let's do the, the more complex path. And we need somehow to get the text representation of article summarization. And in general, this is a resource. We can read it as a file. But this time I'm going to reuse uh, some classes from Spring AI, just for simplicity. And next we have format. And here, We are providing format from converter. And maybe let's print it out to the log so we can also double check it. So now it's time to get the row text from chat model. And then we can reuse our converter to convert the result back to article. And this is auto-suggested already. Okay, let's give it a try for the low-level API. But again, let's first, oh, maybe I could copy-paste it this time. Okay, let's run the app and see how it behaves. And what we can see, let's just check it quickly. We have the same output. It's properly formatted JSON object with title, content, and tags. And also here we have uh, the formatting. So your response should be in JSON format and do not do this and do not do that. And here's even the JSON schema, which you should use when you're generating the response. So this is what comes from the converter. And again, what we are doing here, maybe it's not an optimal way, but we did it for a specific reason to show the details, how it's formatted and how it's processed. Uh, so what's happened here, we were, we were using the bean output converter, which is part of Spring AI, and this one was configured to article. And then we created our own template, which was containing the template uh, from the resource and the formatting. And template from the resource, we, we, we were loading it and converting to text, to a string. And then we, for formatting, we were using content, let's get format method. And then once we got back the string result, we again use converter, the second part, to convert it to the proper article object. All right, and the last part, uh, we, we checked how uh, bean output converter works in this code session. So here we have the example of this formatting stuff, how it looks like, we saw it already. But also Spring AI provides us to other um, additional entities. We have map output converter and we do have list output converter. And these are the formats, the example formats Spring will use for properly generated to send LLM instructions. And that was it for today's video. I hope now you have much, much better understanding what's hidden behind this global architectural idea structured outputs. And it was Evgeny. 
Thank you for sticking with me till the end. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.